especially, not necessarily this class though, but especially a lot of the stuff that he did last week reminded me of some of our Afro-Caribbean moves, Afro-Jamaican, you know, in Jamaica. And that was kind of nice for me because it was a bit nostalgic as well, you know. And coming to England, it was the first ever I've ever felt anything close to home. So that was really good as well. So it was interesting because, you know, it shows the whole kind of Afro-Caribbean fusion thing. And really, really nice. And I like that. <laughs> No, it's a very good class. It helps me relax and be able to not have so much tension whilst I'm dancing because it's at a very fast pace and that's why I like it. Um, well, about I think Everardo's class was really excellent. Um, he has a beautiful way of fusing Brazilian flavor with um, contemporary technique, and it keeps you off center and on center at the same time. You know, you have to really fight for your center. And then at the end of the class, the choreography is just really like the icing on the cake. So I'm totally like enjoying it and loving it. You know, and hope we get more classes again. <laughs>
us. Um, but what Damien said about uh, that you need to let go, but at the same time you also using a lot the center, I think. Um, you have to let go other things, and as Damien said, you know, feeling place, neck, everything has to be like almost like an animal, very relaxed. But at the same time, it's hard. But it's, it's nice, and with the brain bow was really lovely. <laughs> let go but once you let go and just go with because El Veraldo has a it's got a different way of moving he's got a, his own rhythm in his own body so it's not very easy to catch it but once you start letting go and try and find the flavor that he's got which is wonderful to aim to try and aim to get there when he's moving which is really really hard but I love it Two and three, four and five, from here, we step this. Yes. yes. When you step here, you slip this to it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 